So welcome. Um, so the intention for today, I'll just get personal. Um, I'm fairly new to the Durham area. I moved here a little while ago and I'm naturally a little bit more of an introvert. So getting to know people and going out and experiencing new spaces and stuff like that, a little challenging for me. Um, but I'm realizing, I, I've always known the importance of communication, but a lot of people have a different definition of what good communication really is. So kind of contemplating what it means to really be a good communicator. First of all, understanding how to hold a respectful space for other people. You don't have to agree with their opinions. You don't have to, you know, believe in what they're saying, but if you're going to engage in a dialogue, give them space, right? Allow them to know that you're an active listener and that you're hearing what they're saying. And then if there is a moment of offering opinion or exchange or dialogue, like allow that to be a clear cut exchange and do it compassionately. Um, and and I, there's other situations to express intense emotions, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> um, but it, it's easy to, when someone else is talking, to think immediately about how you're going to respond and you're not fully taking in or being present while that other person is communicating with you. Um, and then we have so many different modes of communication, email communication, text communication, voice memo, one of my favorites. Um, and instead of, I, I, this is, um, I don't know if you are familiar with the four agreements. One of the four agreements is not to make assumptions. A lot of nuance can be lost in those forms of communication. So if you're not sure what somebody means, instead of automatically assuming, ask for clarification. I feel like that's really, really important nowadays because we have so many different modes of communication. Um, and then with our own personal communication, allow yourself to validate your own voice, your own presence, your own opinion. If you are somebody that tends to be a caretaker, that tends to be um, very good at holding space for other people, give yourself space to be heard, to be seen, to be respected. And, you know, we, it, it's, it's healthy to have a wide, wide variety of friends, but also understand not everybody's great at holding space for you, especially if you're going through a difficult time. So instead of blaming them for that, just recognize this person isn't fully capable of holding space the way I need it. That's okay. They're great for um coffee dates and they're great for seeing the movies but when i'm having a very difficult time this person i know is better at holding space for me that right we have different types of communication different types of relationships so understanding and holding space for those people and understanding how they can hold space for you um, so that's my little spiel for today so there's also physical communication learning to listen to your body our bodies are constantly speaking to us. Um, we're in a society that says you need to follow this 24 hour clock. You need to be productive these certain periods of time of day. You need to show up feeling the same way at the same time every day. That's not realistic to the human body. Some days we're tired. Some days our brain is spot on and our focus is great. Sometimes it's not. Right? Sometimes we need to eat more. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we need... So listening to the cues of the body, the communication of the body and honoring that space and knowing that it's always going to fluctuate. Okay, so spiel is over. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's get into the practice. Okay, so comfortable seated position. Make sure you have that uplifted spine. If you're seated uh, on your chair, make sure your feet are flat on the floor or on books or blocks. Let's close our eyes. So we begin with the body scan so that we can become 
more aware of the body. And as we do that, think of the communication of the body. So if you are aware of the body making you aware of certain things that are going on, don't, don't judge it, right? Just be aware of it, take note of it, listen, pay attention. So first starting with your feet and feel the sensation of your feet on the floor. And if you can, even allow them to relax, soften through your toes, the arches of your feet. And then from the earth, start to make your way up your legs into the ankles. Become aware of your calves, your shins, your knees. Observing the full length of your legs as you move into your thighs. And also become aware of the more subtle communication that you're receiving. Maybe you feel a little bit of electricity or tingling or warmth or cooling sensations in the legs and the feet. Just allowing all of those senses all of those cues to bring you fully present into your body. Observe and feel the sensation of your hips on the chair. Even try to visualize the bowl of your pelvis, that beautiful space between your hips. Take your awareness and allow it to occupy that space fully. Notice the sensations in your belly, in your back. Again, we're not judging. We're not saying that it's good or bad or right or wrong. We're observing, we're present. We're compassionately present with our physical body in this moment. And then start to follow the length of your spine from the tailbone all the way up even try to visualize the beautiful shape of your spine. Try to imagine each vertebrae as they stack on top of the next, following the line of the spine all the way up to the base of your neck. And once you get there, feel your shoulders relax down. Feel that relaxation move down your arms, into your palms, into your fingers and notice the sensations in your hands, in your arms, in your shoulders. Take your awareness into your chest. Can you become aware of the space that your heart occupies? maybe even sensing your own heartbeat. Continue to move your awareness up into your neck, your throat, your jaw, your face, your forehead. Maybe become aware of the colors or shapes or shadows behind your eyes or your eyelids. Your eyes are closed, but within that, you can still kind of perceive something in that space. Okay, then being aware of the body from the feet to the top of the head, Settle into a deeper space of acceptance and start to become more hyper aware of your breath. So remember first, you're not gonna change your breath, you're just going to focus on your natural breathing. So mouth is closed, you're breathing in and out of the nose, unless you're really congested in your nose, then allow it to come in and out of the mouth. So feel the sensation of the air as it enters from the very tip of the nose 
over the palate of the mouth, down the throat, into the lungs, and then on the exhale from the lungs, up the throat, the palate of the mouth, out the nose. So again, initially we're just keeping the breath natural, but we're trying to draw our awareness to witnessing the pathway of the breath in and out of the body in and out of the nose. And again, perhaps become aware of the body-mind communication. Your body is different today than it was yesterday. And even how it was a few hours ago, a few minutes ago, it's constantly changing, it's constantly giving you different input. So just be present with what you're receiving right now. And then we're gonna to start to control the breath. So we're gradually taking deeper breaths in and out of the nose. On your next inhale through the nose, Try to fill the torso, expanding through the lower belly, the space beneath the ribs, expanding all the way up into the space beneath the shoulders, and then exhaling from the shoulders, the lower ribs, down into your lower belly. Inhale from your belly, your diaphragm area, up into your chest beneath your shoulders. Exhale from the shoulders, the lower chest, ribs, and belly. So continue like that, inhale from the tailbone up to the shoulders, exhale from the shoulders all the way back down. So take it at your own pace. Maybe you have a little bit more space and you can slow it down even more. Maybe the pace that I was guiding you at was a little too forced. Listen to your body, but consciously control those deep, slow breaths. And remember, we're not forcing space, we're relaxing to create more space. So almost imagine the inside of your body relaxing on your inhale and then gently contracting and pulling in on your exhale. A few more rounds, just like that. Keeping that communication with the body, keeping that connection to feeling the breath. Now you're going to gently come back to your natural breathing. Place your left palm on top of your chest and your right palm on top of the left. Take a deep inhale through your nose and release that breath out of your mouth. Release your hands down and gently blink open your eyes. Okay, we're gonna do one more breath before we open it up 
to share experience or ask questions if there are any. So this next one really helps to calm the nervous system. So we do it by taking three sips through the mouth, pause and exhale out of the nose. We've done this one before. So it looks like this. And there is a hand position for this one. So you're gonna take your thumbs inside your palms and gently wrap your fingers around your thumbs. Give it a little squeeze and rest your palms facing up on your legs or your hips. Okay, so here we go. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the nose. And we start with the three sips. Hold, out of the nose, exhale. Three sips through the mouth. Hold, out of the nose, exhale. Three sips. Hold, exhale. Three sips, hold, exhale, one more round, three sips, hold, exhale, come back to your natural breath. Gently open and release your palms and feel that nice tingly sensation. And if your eyes were closed, gently blink open your eyes. Okay. So we can do this next one seated, but if it's comfortable for you, you can do it standing. It's a nice little release as well. I feel like this is um, a nice one to, to calm the body quickly. So if you were to sit in a chair, you'd be rocking the body gently from side to side. If you're standing, feet hip width, slight bend in the knees, and we're just gonna rock the body from side to side. And the arms just kind of hang by your side like noodles. Right, so I can also demonstrate in a seated position. Obviously, it would be better if you can scoot a little bit more to the edge of the chair and do this gentle rocking motion with your torso side to side. And this gentle little twisting helps to release and balance out the vertebrae of the spine. Helps to release tension in the joints, the arms, and the neck. Good. A couple more rounds. Let's bring it back to stillness, palms facing up, eyes closed, and observe. You might feel a little release of energy here. Okay. Go ahead and blink open your eyes. Take your hands onto your knees, separate your feet a little bit wider, and we're gonna move the flexion of the spine, so arching and rounding. So from here, reach with your chest, pull your shoulders back, try to feel your sit bones extend back. And then as you exhale, you're gonna pull everything in and round. Imagine as if you're trying to pull your tailbone towards your face and push your belly towards the back of your spine. Let's do it again. Inhale, open it up and reach, shoulders back, chest forward. 
Exhale, bring it in and round. A couple more times. Inhale, arch and open. Exhale, bring it in and round. Last one, inhale, open it up. Exhale, round it in. Really nice. Gently unravel all the way back up. Start to circle your shoulders back. And then circle your shoulders forward. Arms to your sides, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, take them all the way back down. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. Try to get tall through the body. Exhale, take it back down. Last one. Inhale, reach it up. Now, this time you're going to drop your left arm down, take your right hand to the opposite side of your head, and gently pull your right ear towards your right shoulder. So you're gently stretching the left side of your neck. Remember to connect to the breath. And then draw your chin in slightly so you're stretching the back left side of your neck. Release that hand down and pick your head back up. Inhale, arms back up. Lower the right hand down. Use your left hand to gently pull the left ear towards the left shoulder. Try to imagine the breath on the right side of your neck. And then draw your chin in slightly so you're stretching the back or right side of your neck. Release that hand down and pick your head all the way back up. Good. Interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you. Now we're rounding again, but this time focus a little bit more on the upper back and the space between your shoulder blades. Try to push them away from you. If it's uncomfortable to interlace your finger this, this way, you can just keep them interlaced the other way. But really focus on creating space between the shoulder blades. Try to imagine the wings of the shoulder blades separating. Excellent. Release your hands. Take it all the way back up. Now, if you can, grab the back of your chair or place your hands behind you and you're gonna push up with your chest. Now, if it doesn't feel comfortable for your neck to look up, you can keep your gaze forward. But if it is comfortable, drop your head back, push up through the chest. And gently bring it all the way back up. Really nice. Okay. Um, if your feet were hip width apart, bring your legs in a little bit closer. If they can, let them touch. Take your right hand behind you, maybe even grab onto the chair. Your left hand comes to the outside of the right leg, and you're going to look over your right shoulder as you twist. Try to keep the knees facing forward and twist more so through your chest and maybe even focus on the twist in your lower back. Excellent. 
Excellent. Gently untwist back to the front. And then we'll take it right over to the other side. Left hand behind you, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Try to keep your knees tracking forward and breathe into the twist. It helps to visualize what the body is doing as well. Try to imagine that gentle twist in the spine. And gently untwist back to the front. Good. Okay, separate the feet again. And we're going to take a little forward fold here. So listen to what feels right for your body. But if it's comfortable for you, try to drop your chest inside your thighs. If that's too intense, keep your forearms resting on your thighs and let your upper body hang there. Regardless of what variation feels comfortable, you're going to try to keep connecting to the breath. I know when you're in a forward fold in the body, you can feel a little bit of constriction. Try to relax and find your breath. And maybe even visualize the breath in your lower back. Okay, take your time unrounding all the way back up. Excellent. Um, you can't see my feet for this one. So we're going to focus on the ankles. You still can't see my feet. So I'm going to lift my feet a little bit, but you can rest your heel on the floor. But with the right ankle, lift it a little bit or maybe all the way. Depends on what feels comfortable for you but try to find a rotation in the ankle. Maybe you're just rocking it from side to side if you're keeping the heel on the floor. If it's lifted and you're rotating, rotate it fully in the other direction. Release that foot down and take it to the other side. Again, you can stay with your heel on the floor and rock the foot from side to side. Or if you can get the foot lifted, you'll take a full circle through the ankle. And if you feel spaces that are a little stickier, slow it down. Try to move through as full a range of motion as you can get it. And then reverse the circle. Relax that foot down. Now, if you were leaning back in your chair, you're going to come a little bit further forward. Keep the heel, the, we'll start with the left side. Keep the left heel on the floor and lift so you're flexing the foot towards your face, pulling your toes towards your face, and drop the foot back down. So keep the heel down, pull the toes up, and drop it down. Sorry, you can't see me. Flex it up and drop it down. Now you can see, flex it up, drop it down. One more, flex and drop. Relax that side, take it to the other. Flex the right foot up, drop it down, flex it up. Drop it down, flex it up, drop it down, one more flex, and lower. Okay, so now we're going to keep the balls of the feet on the floor and lift the heel and lower. Lift your left heel and lower. If you're trying to come up onto your tippy toes, lift and lower, lift 
and lower. Lift and lower. Relax that foot. Take it to the right side. Lift the right heel. Lower down. Lift the right heel. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Really good. Try to relax it there. Okay. Now, again, just try to scoot a little bit further forward on your chair. If you can, come onto the edges of your feet and you're going to bring your knees in and then open them out. Take them in, open out. Bring it in, open out. Try to keep the lower back straight. In and out, in and out. Let's just hold it here for a couple breaths, giving a gentle pressure to the thighs. Now, if you can't come to the front edge of your, your seat, then just separate the legs a little bit wider and give a little bit of pressure with your hands on your thighs. Either way, we're trying to stretch these adductor muscles on the inside of the thighs. And then let's relax it, feet down. Now, First variation, you would scoot your right foot out and try to bring the left ankle up in towards the calf or the ankle. And again, apply a gentle pressure out through the thigh. Or if you can do it, you take the ankle a little bit higher up onto the knee and give some pressure there. Again, the seated version would be to keep the leg extended, ankle over knee, lean to the side and press it out. So it can be on the ankle, a little pressure on the knee. And when you are holding these poses, remember the mind-body communication. You're breathing into it. Okay, let's relax it down and switch sides. So you can keep that left foot there, take the right ankle and open, or bring the ankle onto the knee. And you can also do it sitting on the floor. But you're applying gentle pressure to the thigh, not onto the knee, to the thigh, so that we're looking for the opening through the hip. You're breathing, the lower back is upright. Really good. And release it down, maybe shake it out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do, um, now for these next few poses, there will be standing variation. So um, starting, we'll do a variation of, yeah, we'll start with this one, the side angle. So keeping your right knee forward, open your left knee out to the side. I'll show the standing in just a moment. Bring the left forearm to your left quadricep and extend your right arm over your ear. And you're looking for the stretch along the right side of the body. So the standing variation, knee is bent. Bring the forearm to the thigh and reach the arm over. Remember the breath. Try to tilt your tailbone under and get long through that right side of the body. Excellent. Slowly take it back up. If you're standing, if you're seated, that left knee comes in. Right knee opens out, keeping the left knee tracking forward as the right knee tracks to the side. Bring the right forearm to the right quad and reach your left arm over. And again, for standing, it's a wide stance. 
the knee right on top of the ankle or behind the ankle. Just make sure it's not in front of the ankle. Forearm to the quad and reach that left arm over. So notice the quality of your breath. Keep it deep and steady. Keep communicating to the body. Good. And then we're going to gently come back to the center. So if you're seated, both knees come in. Okay, so this one's more of a warrior one version. So for seated, starting the same way with the left knee pointing to the side, try to extend that right leg behind you and see if you can get your right hip to rotate towards the same direction that that left knee is facing. And then here you're going to extend your arms up so that your chest is facing the left knee. Now for the standing version, it looks similar but the hips are both facing the same direction. They're both pointing to the side. Arms up, shoulders relaxed. Good. Take it back to center. Take a moment to rest here. And then we'll switch sides. So for seated, the right knee points to the side. The left leg extends back behind you, and you try to rotate the hips both towards that right side. Reach the arms. And again, for standing, the, you have enough space between your hips, right? Enough space between your feet so that both of your hips are pointing forward. You push into the outer edge of that back leg to get the hip to rotate towards the front. Really, really nice. Let's come back to center. Um, but we're going to focus a little bit more on the upper chest and shoulders. So what you can do these seated as well. So you're going to reach both arms all the way up, either standing or seated. Bend your right elbow and use your left hand to gently draw that elbow back. So the right hand is just kind of resting behind you. And try not to force it. See if you can relax your shoulders. If that's too intense, then just keep the hand a little higher up, right? We don't ever want to force. Don't ever strain the body. We can work with a little bit of resistance, but we don't want to force or strain. And a lot of times, the quality of your breath will inform you of how far you're going. If you're taking shorter, quick breaths, you're probably pushing too much. If the breath is deep and steady, you're in a safe space. Okay, let's relax it. Maybe shake it out a little bit. We're gonna take that same arm, your right arm, across the chest, hook it with the left arm, and then you can stay there or bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. Excellent. Take your head back up, release that arm. And as always, yeah, if you need to, you can always shake it out a little bit. Inhale, arms back up. We're doing it on the other side. So bend the left elbow. Use your right hand to gently pull that elbow back. Relax your shoulders. Try to get a lift in your chest without lifting the shoulders. Excellent. 
gently sit down, sweep that arm, a left arm across your chest, hook it with the right, and then take your right ear towards the right shoulder, trying to pull your left shoulder away. And then pick your head back up, release your arms, shake it out. Take your right hand behind your head. Kind of squeeze your elbow in towards the body. And then reach back for your chair. You can also just do this standing and support it on your hip. But you're going to try to push your head into your hand and lift through your head, lift through your chest. Get that nice opening in the chest and the upper back. Yes. Bring it back to the center, release that arm down. Other side, left hand behind your head, squeeze the elbow in, and then try to lift up through your chest. Almost feel your shoulder blades pull in towards each other behind your back to allow the chest to lift in a supported way. Good, and then bring it all the way back down. Nice, give it another little shake, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So let's do our alternate nostril breathing before we go into just a final little centering. So our alternate nostril breathing, again, I'm gonna get close to the camera so you can see. So you're using one hand the whole time um, and you're gonna close a nostril, you're gonna inhale through that open nostril and then close that one, exhale. That same one, inhale, close, open, exhale. Inhale, close, open, exhale. So this is the movement with the hands. And you're not forcing it, it's just you're pushing just enough to block the passageway of the air. Okay? So uh, here we go. Start first feeling centered in the body. Take an Deep inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of your nose. Close the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left nostril, open the right, exhale. Inhale through the right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right, close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left, close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, Exhale. 
Release your right hand down. Inhale through both nostrils. Out of the nose, exhale. And then keeping your eyes closed, come back to your natural breath. Move back into a space of observation. And maybe take this moment to contemplate what it means to communicate compassionately. To open yourself to a space of compassionate communication for others, but also for yourself. And sometimes that means not speaking. Sometimes that means refraining from a conversation. Sometimes that means making your boundaries firm. And sometimes that means just listening and holding a non-judgmental space. Also take a moment to contemplate what it means to listen to your own body, to listen to your own emotions and holding compassionate space for yourself and that important communication. Keeping that awareness and that connection to yourself. Place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your left. Take a deep heart-centered inhalation. And release it in a gentle sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> release your arms down. Open your eyes.